Well, hello all my diamond painting friends. This is Rose and I am really excited about doing another unboxing for you today. Um, this is my first ever order from the Alibaba website. Now I have shot unboxings for um, a set of three or four diamond, three or four, I can't remember, three or four diamond paintings that I got from uh, another store on AliExpress. Uh, but that was, but that's because they arrived before this one. I, I made the order just days apart. So I am now getting around to opening this one. So let's get into it. All right. So well packed, well secured with extra packing tape. Um, the box feels like it's in pretty good condition, so it made it through shipping pretty well. Um, let me see, did I write anything on there? Okay, so um, I, I'll just tell you, uh, because you would have seen it from the title card on this video, uh, but I call this the girl riding a hummingbird, or girl on hummingbird. It's a 50 by 70 diamond painting. I ordered it on April 8th. It shipped on April 8th, and it was delivered on April 23rd. So I did pay for express shipping on this uh, as part of the price. All right. So uh, now the store on Alibaba that I bought it from is the Yi Wu City Zui Star Crafts Company Limited. There you go. Um, I'll just, I'll put that on the screen because that's a long name and I think I'm just going to shorten it uh, from here on in. Anyway, uh, this is a round drill diamond painting. Now I'll show you, they do put on the end of the box a thumbnail of what the painting's gonna look like, which I find very helpful. That's very nice. And let me figure out how to get into this. All right, here seems like a good place. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I think I will be ordering from um, Alibaba in future. Now, as you see, the box did suffer a little bit of bending while it was in uh, transit. Uh, I, I'm hoping that that won't be too, too bad for the diamond pain. So, the kit that comes with it has a single placer as well as a multi placer. I don't know what that is, six, seven, I don't know. It's got uh, the metal tweezers, and I don't want to crinkle too much, so I'm just going to tell you there's the, tr the little bit of wax there and the um, boat with a spout. Um, now, there are little bits of wax that probably came off of something else because this wax this wax actually seems to be in pretty good condition okay so we'll just tuck those back in there for now no they don't want to be tucked in all right the the bags all ripped it doesn't matter i put i separate all my kits apart and put tweezers with tweezers and wax with wax and boats with boats and multi-placers in a bag of their own okay so let us now take a look at this canvas. We'll take a look at the back first. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing here is that the canvas has a bit of a different look to it than other canvases that I'm used to. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to come through on the camera, but can you see? It almost looks like it's got... Like an, an, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. I'm going to put the flash on in the hopes that you'll be able to see it better. It's, it, there's nothing wrong with this canvas, okay? I mean, I'm not saying that. It's just, it does look like it's made of a different weave almost. 
Um, and it, it anyway, it, it just has a not a texture to it that's different because it feels just like every other canvas. But it, it, there's just something that's a little different about it that I can't really explain. Uh, I just I'm sorry, but I just don't have the words for that. Um, the other thing that I'm noticing here is that the out edges. And that's because this canvas is, it feels different. Like it looks like it's plasticized on this side, but not plasticized on this side, okay? So um, I think that's why we're getting this happening. Um, so, uh, okay. Now I see some bubbles. Uh, you can see them too on the canvas here, here, and here. And that's where the bend in the box was. Yep, that's where the bend in the box was. So uh, that was not caused by the company. That was caused by uh, bendage, as I like to say. Um, it, so it lifted, it looks like it might have lifted the wax away, or not the wax, The um, it might have lifted the glue away from the canvas. A little bit there might be a little bit of an air bubble there that I'll need to correct which is fine because it's been a long time since I corrected an air bubble all right other than that this canvas looks to be pretty good there is a bit of a hard fold here um, yeah there's a, there's a bit of a hard fold again close to where that uh, bend in the box happened um, I don't believe that that is anything that the company has uh, a part in. I mean, short of sending them in wooden boxes, <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, so I, I'm okay with this. Uh, I think that'll be able to be ironed out quite simply. Now, interestingly, this is a single sheet of adhesive. Uh, the can, like the the paper is not cut, um, which meant that they were using 50 centimeter wide strips of an adhesive uh, of double sided tape. So um, so that's that's interesting. That's not a problem for me because I'll probably work on it uh, in strips three inches long all the way all the way down. So that's okay, but uh, I may um, because I've had requests from users to uh, demo how to cut paper or how I cut paper when I want to cut paper um, and uh, the paper covering so I'm gonna I'll demo that when I when I do this diamond painting if not before okay so I guess the next thing to do can you see all of this I think you can, I think you can. I'm gonna tell you about the diamond painting before we get into anything else so it is Girl Riding Hummingbird, a 50 by 70 centimeter round drills, and yes, those are round drills, uh, from Alibaba, the Yiwu City Zui Star Crafts Company Limited. Um, the, the cost was $24.07. Oh, it was $17.32 USD including the shipping cost. If I like everything else about this diamond painting, I will be ordering from this store again. So let me pull back the cover on this. So the first thing I notice is that it comes back very nicely. It's, it's laid tightly so that it, it wasn't, um, it wasn't uh, pulling up at the edges. Whoops. Okay, so I just tore that a little bit. That is, uh, that's my bad, but that's okay. Uh, no harm done. As you guys have probably heard me say multiple times before, there's really no harm that you can do to a diamond painting, short of burning it. All right. sure that I'm not pulling it down too too far because now just so you know that's very sticky it's a nice stick it's not a slippery stick 
sometimes you get adhesive that's um, a little on the slippery side. Okay, I don't want to take this too much further down. There's about an inch of canvas that's uncovered. Uh, wow. That looks really, really nice. I'm going to take you out of the holder to show you this diamond painting uh, from my perspective, because I don't want to put it on the floor. There's just I, I just ran the Roomba this morning, but I think there's just going to be way too much um, cat fur and stuff like that. Okay, so there you go. That is my canvas. And, you know, once the wrinkles are ironed out of it, I think it's going to be fine. Now let us check where I had seen what I thought might be bubbles in the glue. And I'm just... You know what? There are no bubbles in the glue. Um, nope. Nope. So those places where I thought there were bubbles that I might have to cut... Uh, to to let the air escape, there are no bubbles. Nope, that's that canvas is in perfect condition. Just perfect. Okay, so let us first take a look at the legend. So how many colors do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I'll count them afterwards. Here are the colors. And the symbols. Ooh, that's, you know what this one's going to be. Hold on, where the heck was it? Where the heck was it? That one's going to be fish bones. That's what I'm going to call it. Fish bones. Because I have to come up with a name for everything. Okay, all right, so that's good. Uh, and let's take a look at how those translate onto the canvas. This is really interesting because they've got the great big black circles and then they've got like little tiny things, but it's gonna make telling which symbols go where really easy, I think. I don't know about you, but I find when I'm doing a diamond painting, if there's one of one color sort of on its own in a field of others, uh, especially where there's a lot of confetti of multiple colors, I sometimes miss them. But this might actually make it easier to find those ones. Yeah, that drill field, that's beautifully clear. Even the fish bones, like those are so, so razor sharp. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yep, that's good. I'm happy with this. Okay. Yeah, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna put you back in the cradle and, uh, whoops, hold on. My, uh, I, I forgot to secure the uh, tripod and so it's way too far down. Let me, let me raise you up. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this up again. And, uh, because I'm very surprised that my friend Micah has not jumped up on the table already. All right, that's good. Here we go. Very good. Oh, okay, I thought there might be something stuck under the canvas, but no, it's the cat's tracked something onto my table. Okay, so that's fine. All right, I'm very, very happy with this. Okay, so now, I guess the only thing left to do is get into the drills, and they did send a um, an inventory sheet and they checked them all off. So we're just going to double check here. So I will show you the drills and I will do an inventory. I'm gonna flip this over. Oh, it feels like there's 
something inside here. Oh, look at that. They sent me a package of bags. I love it when they send me baggies. And they look like, it looks like there's quite a few in there. I would say there's like at least 10 baggies in there. So that's good. That is a little extra that I was not expecting, but, I, but, but that I greatly appreciate. Okay. Um, so let's start this inventory. I'm just going to push these off to the side and I'll lay them down on the canvas. I just want to make sure you can see the whole thing. Yes, you can. Okay. All right then. So let's see how well Inspector 29 did on his or her inventory. 3340. Oh, they're not in DMC order. Are they? Oh, yes, they are. That's the number of drills. Okay, 3340. I need one bag. And I got one. 797. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. 797. Yep. So I, as many of you know, I've taken to rolling these up like this. Uh, one fifty-five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Three sixty nine one. Yep. Pretty colors here. Eight fifteen one two three four five. Oh, I'm supposed to have six. One, two three four five. Oh, oh, oh. We'll set that aside because let's see if I find a loose bag somewhere. Thirty seven forty seven. I need four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Eight, thirty-three. One, two, three, four, five. Now I picked this painting um, because I thought the, the, the image was absolutely delightful, but the colors are glorious. So 30, oh wait, that was 833, yeah, I checked it off. This is 3854, one, two, three. Oh, and here is that missing bag of 815. So I do have my six, there we go. My faith is restored, yay. There we go, oh, great. okay. Ooh, lovely, 334, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Five eighty one five one two three four and five. Yeah. Okay. Um four hundred, one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Seven sixty two one two three. Yep. I was a little worried because there's one bag here that's empty, but uh, but no, it's uh, I have the, the correct amount. Uh, three eighteen one two three four five six seven eight. 
cherry bake. Thirty-seven twenty-one. I need four, and I've got four. Five fifty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Eleven, one, two, three, four, five. Seven twenty, I've got two. Nine sixty six, I've got two. 722, 2, 726, I need 4, so I'm going to set that aside because I think I need, hopefully we'll find some more, hopefully, oh there they are, okay, yeah, I need 4 and I've got 4, so that's all good. Uh, four, 726. Yep. Okay. Uh, 435, I need four. Yep. Got it. Two oh nine, I've got five. That's good. Thirty-three forty-six. Three. Nine twenty three uh, what's that? Nine oh five. I've got three. Nine twenty eight three. Thirty-eight twenty-three. I have five. Oops. All right. Let me just. Let me just do this. There we go. That was good. okay. Um, three fifty-one three. So far, so good. Sometimes they just don't roll. They just don't roll. Uh, Thirty-seven fifty-two three. Yep. Yep. Thirty-eight sixty-five. I have six. Yes. Like an 823 or a 939. Okay, that's that was my second choice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. For 920, for 939, that's correct. Alright. 32 or 3024. 5. Correct. Oops. I'm not going to fuss too much about it. Okay. That's right. Uh, 3756. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. Three, I 
986. I have two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oop. Uh, not, no, one sixty six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes. I have one. Oops. One fifty nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This uh, sort of salmon pink is my dominant color on this diamond painting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, everything's here. It's ready. So this is the girl riding hummingbird. And it is 50 by 70 round. And this is, it doesn't matter what the score is. I, I'm very happy with it. It's all good. I'm going to bring you down close to look at the drills because the colors really are lovely. And I think you should see them with the flash on. Okay, so here are the drills. Look at those beautiful, beautiful colors. That's just lovely, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, these are pretty, pretty colors. I chose this diamond painting because I've never seen this canvas offered anywhere else. And, um, and I just thought it was so unusual and yet so absolutely delightful. I just had to get it. I had to. I had to. 
now you've had an opportunity and I'm going to put the link in the um, description to this video down below. And so if you feel like you just have to get it too, now you know exactly where to go for it. And um, just a second, I'm trying to turn off the flash. Okay, um, so that's it. That's, that's this video. I'm very impressed. This was my first Alibaba buy. I, it's not beginner's luck because I was also very, very happy with the next order that I made from, Ali, from Alibaba. Um, this one, I did not do any negotiation. I just hit buy now or whatever the button is that you press and just went with it. I didn't try to negotiate the price down or negotiate different shipping or negotiate, you know, a lower price if they sent it without a box. None of that. I just bought for the price that was recommended or that was that was set and I think it was a really decent price for a canvas this size so um so yeah I'm very very happy and that's it that's my video I want to thank all of my viewers for coming to visit with me and thank you so very much to all of my subscribers because you know that you're the people who I do this for and um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, you know, you'll always have an invitation to my house and you'll always know when the parties are. And um, if you haven't liked this video yet, don't forget to like it before you click on to something else. Okay? Leave me a comment down below if, uh, if you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any thoughts on the diamond painting, uh, I'd love to hear them. Okay, so you guys all take care and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.